Well, welcome back. A central Arkansas man performing a selfless act of service, rescuing a dog that was stranded and on the brink of death. Channel 7's Kaylin Clay spoke to him about the emotional journey and has more on the story. Kaylin. Well, yes, Daniela, I mean, it was truly just the selfless rescue of a lifetime. If you've ever felt that strong inclination to help, that tugging on your heart, then you know how Dylan McKay felt when he heard there was a dog that needed saving. And I don't mean to spoil the story for you, but that pup has been saved and gifted a loving family. It was Halloween night. Dylan McKay was scrolling on Facebook, and then he saw a post that just instantly grabbed his attention, an injured dog abandoned on the side of the road, scared and desperate for help. It was the beginning of an emotional journey for McKay and his fiance. And I was all just scrolling through like some of the comments and stuff. Like I'll see him a decent amount of comments, but I'm just like, it doesn't seem like anything's in action yet. And this is definitely like a time urgent situation. He quickly jumped in his vehicle on a rescue mission. And there the dog was between Conway and Greenbrier. Now McKay said she had likely been hit by a vehicle and moved over to a nearby driveway, just shivering and covered in blood. Just as I got closer to her, she started trying to crawl to me. And Family members came to help, covering the dog with blankets, making the journey to Greenbrier Animal Hospital. And the diagnosis was not promising. The dog had bruised lungs, two fractured femurs, one of them an open fracture, and doctors were gravely concerned about infection. The original plan was that one would have to be amputated and the other one would need um, a pretty serious reconstructive surgery. And no microchip was found either. Later, they discovered the owner had been looking to rehome the dog. So this dog was basically just surrendered to the hospital. Um, and so we kind of like looked at each other and we looked at the dog and we're just like, we know what we have to do. And the dog was now a member of their family. And throughout the ordeal, a Facebook community came together to support by offering encouraging comments and donations. We just feel really blessed that people love her as much as we do and want to help her get better. A surgery surpassing $10,000 meant that McKay and his fiance Emily also had to cut into their wedding fund. And so that budget <laughs> disappeared. Everything they could do to give the pup her life back, even traveling to Mississippi for an extensive surgery on Monday. And now, post-op, the reconstruction was nothing short of successful. We went into the weekend thinking that she was going to get amputation on one leg and then the other leg hopefully fixed. Um, but Monday morning, they were confident that they could fix both of the legs, and that turned out to be true. And now a part of the family, Dylan and Emily, are looking forward to bringing it home with their other dogs. And if you're wondering about her name, the plan is to name it after a food item like the rest of their pets. But for a middle name, they chose Acklin. That's the exact street she was found on. On your side, I'm Kaylin Clay. Well, the couple says they still have a long journey ahead with physical therapy, vaccinations, and spaying. But there is light at the end of the tunnel.